Here we have a vintage Numara, and you can see their logo here in this corner. 10 Highway Patrol Helicopter. It is battery operated. And as you can see, you have the original box in excellent shape. There's the directions as to how to put the batteries in it. It does take two size D batteries, which are not included. It's mostly tin with a little bit of plastic. As you can see, it has all the original staples still holding it together. Instructions appear on both sides of the flap of the, I'm sorry, the lid, the longer flaps, if you will. And as you can see, here it is with the original protective inserts. I'll pull this out. There's your helicopter. This is a beautiful, beautiful shape. Here's the blade, a little tweak from being stored. I don't want to play with it because <laughs> with my luck, I'll break it. Anyways, as you can see, the helicopter is in beautiful shape. These go in here. The blades do not light, even though it looks like there are lights at the end. Get in there. You can see one's blue. Oh, they're both blue on this one. They're strictly there for looks. Uh, you have the tail blade. You can see it's all made out of tin. It's a beautiful shape. There is zero rust. Not a single ding of dent on this. This is as close to new old sock as you can get. Um, I did use it as a child and put it away. So I know it's not new old stock, but I was not into helicopters as a child. So that's why it's in such beautiful shape, was it was used once or twice. And as you can see, even with the protective inserts, it was just put away. Anyways, you can see the bottom of it is also tin, except for the battery compartment, which is plastic. And that is right here. You have a plastic lock. Let's open it up. You can see the contacts inside are beautiful. The battery compartment is plastic. Again, you have no rust, no cracks, no stress. All the contacts are nice and shiny. As I said, it takes two D batteries. So let's put those in it right now. You can see how they're supposed to be put in on the bottom. One goes in like that. This one goes in like that. Oop. Helps it get in right. Shut it, lock it. Here's the on-off switch, and it's ready to go. I'm going to put it on the ground behind me. You can see the front wheel does turn, and I'm going to do it in circles and put it down, and uh, all the actions on the box, which are here, light and noise, uh, work, and they work fine. So let's put it down, and watch it spin around. Going to turn it around. <laughs> Let's have a turn. As you can see, you get the noise. You get the flashing light in the back where the engine is. It's a plastic transmission lid there. There are no cracks on it at all. It doesn't stop and go. It's not designed for nature. This is pretty much all it does. And it's a beautiful working shape. It's from the warmer. I would say it's from the mid to early, oops, 1970s. And there you have it, a beautiful example of a Nomura Highway Patrol helicopter. And lastly, just let me say one more thing. The uh, length of it, it's a good size. So you can see it's about 15 inches in length. So it's not a small helicopter, it's a good size helicopter. And it's a beautiful example. I don't think you find another one, even considered new old stock as pretty as this unit is now. I thank you for your time and for your considerations. Have a good day.